Hello YouTube, Eden Droid here and today I am going to do a video on Cyanogen mod and first of all it's an unofficial release so I don't think so we'll be getting any updates but we need to try this custom ROM, this totally rocks. And having said that, a couple of people uh, have been having few issues with their SD cards and a, you know clockwork mod as well. So this video is going to be in different parts covering each and every step so just in case you want to skip a few steps like you know how to flash gingerbread safely if you're okay with that you can skip that step and all that and directly go to you know this part which actually installs the engine mod in part one let me start with part one actually so in this part this is my memory card reader and this is my SD card which is a 2 GB card if you can see yeah it is here it is 2 GB card right so this is my memory card reader I am putting it in my laptop and I am going to back it up first let me scan and fix it I'm going to back all the data up now meanwhile I do that I'm starting my phone in download mode it is by the volume down key home key and the power key here I am in the download mode and I'm going to Odin fresh gingerbread on it so let me show you how am I doing that first of all I would need to open Odin this is done the scanning thing is done I'll open it later first let me start Odin okay uh, now I live in Pakistan number one I live in Karachi number two and uh, for me this gingerbread works that I'm going to show you right now I'm sure it would work for every one of us out there uh, just but you know just to be on the safe side make sure you use the firmware which suits your region okay now having said that I have my Odin here I'm going to upload my task file you can see that this is the task file um, yeah. now I guess. yes okay I have picked the task file I'm going to pick the boot file now the, I'm not going through the same steps again because I've already done this uh, here is the video link here's the video link you can click here um, but I am going to do it with you guys in this video and meanwhile I'll back up my data I'm gonna do showcase every step that I have taken okay so this is my KPI uh, if you can see the sorry if you can read this yes it is SS570 XXI uh, XXI KPI yes now it's clear sorry about that now it's clear this is the file that I'm going to use for my gingerbread and let me just put all the files in place the boot file goes in the boot file the phone modem file goes in the modem one PDA file is my code file and then the other one is CSC file let it load it's loading CSC file which is this one now as you can see I'm gonna click here you can see my phone is detected everything is intact I only need to start flashing my phone is in download mode it has detected my my Odin and now I'm doing a flash simple done that okay now as it is happening let me back up my SD card I just copy it and I'm gonna paste it simple 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 steps um, new backup let's do it this way and paste it okay so now I am doing both the things simultaneously let's see what happens now okay this will take about five minutes I am NOT going to edit this video I'm not going to chop it off from uh, you know from the middle because I want you guys to know what exactly I am doing in as much time as it takes 
what you guys can do if you know i know it's really boring to just stare at the screen like that but i am doing that for you haha <laughs> but anyway uh you can simply skip to this timeline yeah this click you can simply uh, skip to this just click here and it will be taken there so you can skip I think I'll also skip this. <laughs> By the way, my phone has restarted. If you can see here, it says that it is closing the serial port and booting the phone and see something is happening and yes, it restarted again. So it will happen, it will restart. Now the reason I'm showing you the backup process from my SD card is because I'm going to format it and I'm going to partition it again. So that is one thing that I need all of you to know what you should do and what this is starting that's why it's making all those white sounds now my phone will start in a bit the first boot after flashing or installing a custom rom always takes time so it will take time uh, basically in part one what i wanted to do i wanted to cover all the basics so part 1 won't be having a uh, Cyanogen mod installation in it. It is just the basics video, just the free requirements that you should know that you should be at before you go on to the next step of flashing and installing your Cyanogen mod 7 ROM. So for that video again I'm saying here is the link, click here, a new window will pop up and you will directly be taken to Cyanogen mod video. Okay, I've got something is happening. Ah, oh, this started. This little fella started. This little fella started. Okay, let's just see where it comes. Do, 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 do. Okay, and now I am on gingerbread, and this is actually going on, so I am not going to do anything messy about it but however let me just show you that what version am I using and all this is not English but now I I know the icons by heart uh -huh. okay so my version is here we have gingerbread XX KPI this is the only gingerbread that I recommend the other one is um, KPX oh sorry kpk but that is a one package file and i don't recommend it uh, at least not for this video this is only for cyanogen and cyanogen works best on kpi so this is done let me just do it change the language to english english yeah okay done this is done and uh, this is about to finish now my SD card is bagged up I'm going to format my SD card and here I go and I simply no I don't format it there. I am using mini tool right I have done a video on mini tool partition I'm doing a very if you want a detailed video you should go to that video here is the link you should go there in this video I'm just quickly going to you know format my partition and make ex and make uh, sorry format my SD card and make partitions this is the only thing I'm going to do in this video and very fast so don't complain it's very fast because the proper video on how to partition your SD card is right here so you should click there and you will be taken there okay now I have got three partitions